Well, here I am in the, <clears throat> in the gallery, in my building, which is also a workplace for mask makers who are making masks, fish makers, fish makers who are making fish out of cardboard boxes. And I thought, I, this is a fish, I cheated on this one because I used more than one box. And, um, but that was a special order for a neighbor of mine who has a grandson who loves a particular fish that's in their house, a stuffed fish, a big yellowfin tuna. So those are, that's my drawing I did from the actual thing. And here's the one that I created out of three or maybe four boxes. The black and teal came from the Makita box. The silver color, gray color, came from a, in the yellow color, actually, the yellow fins came from a fan box. And the light gray came from a third box. So three, three boxes all together. So this is part of the fan box, had this yellow and um, gray stuff and the other fish I made from that box are here. So here's a, here's a, it had a, it had a picture of a fan, a big fan on two sides of the box and so here's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, two fish, And each is a little different. That one has, oops, it's upside down. Big sort of book teeth. And this was a little striped one. I wish I had had this in mind. The stripes, the vertical stand of the fan in the picture. I was ignoring for the longest time. And this one has big teeth, big smile. And I had wished I had, maybe I can pry an eye off of one of those and put a smaller eye on because I, I ended up using an O for a, an eye and almost all the eyes were the same. All, almost all the eyes that are made of O's were the same size. So maybe I can take a couple of these off and use a smaller O for, for these for variety's sake. There's another one with buck teeth. So, and there's, okay, there's two more, three more. How many more are there? This one looks like this lost a fin. This, this particular, that one lost this thing. This particular um, cardboard is very slippery, so it's, the glue doesn't hold all that well. So what I may have to do is on the back is connect all of these with another piece of cardboard and just glue, glue, you know, cardboard to cardboard and hold it together that way. So I'll probably have to fix those. But first I'm going to, damn it, here's this one another eye. So anyway, I have to fix this one and maybe pry an eye off of another one and do that. Um, I have been, I have a box full of scraps of the Makita thing. I've already made dozens of fish using this box, but as I go through the scraps, I see other tiny little elements that can become fish as well. And I really, it's just a fun little process of putting things together to make something that looks vaguely like a fish. Now these fish may or may not 
have any sort of cognate in the actual aquatic world, but I don't care. They look like fish to me, so they're fish. These are from a different box. You know, I, I find that I, you know, I fall into a certain kind of shtick sometimes where an O becomes an eyeball. But sometimes a bunch of O's put together can become a body of a fish. As you can see up here, there's lots of different ways to make fish. Now, I found upstairs one of these, part of my Corona mask, my Corona virus series, and this escaped the scissors that time, but maybe I can turn it into a fish because um, this actually is blue. I, my plan is to do blue and white for the most part. And um, I have done orange and gray and more orange up there. But I'm sort of on a shtick with blue and white here. I know I could do make other fish. Fish are not only blue and white, but the blue and white was meant to match the, I'm trying to find the other Corona parts. Um, because I know I have them here somewhere. Uh, there we go, Corona. See, here's my, here's another one. So let's make a Corona fish for you. Now, I've already made a few. So let's see if I can make, first of all, let's see if this stands up. I'm looking for more Corona. I guess I only have these three pieces of cardboard to make one fish. Maybe a dozen fish if I cut them small enough. I've got my hot glue gun working. So I did make, I have looked in my Corona fish department and I have made a number of Corona fish already using certain things in a certain way and I don't want to I don't want to repeat that so I'm thinking that maybe I've got three big C's here how can these be a fish that could be a dorsal fin that could be how about that how about this? I have a cunning plan. Let's see if I can remember it. Does that look kind of like an eye? Who knows? And a mouth? I'm going to make... Okay, where, how did this go? So if this is an eye, and there's sort of a mouth there, kind of open, and here's sort of that fin gill system behind, and here's a dorsal fin. It works almost right there. So let's cut off what we don't need. Trim this. Trim that. Now this by itself, does this look like a, a fish? Probably not. I think I need, oh, it went this way. There we go. That works better. I think I need to put some sort of a nose on them, but I can do that in a minute. No, yes, no, yes. This is how it goes. It goes like that. Any glue? Are we ready to go?
So here we have an eyeball, a dorsal fin, a gill thing, and a little jutting out chin. Should I make him have a nose? Do I have another part of a C that I can use? I want it to be, I want it to go the other way. We'll use an N. Does this look? Is this going to work? I don't know. This is not working for me here. That could be an eye, and that could be a mouth. How about that? See? We're changing our mind. I, I usually don't change my mind, but I find that I'm doing that. Okay, so here we have a smile and an eye, a big vertical eye, and the gill sort of who knows what. So we have a body and a fin. So what do we do for a body now? Now we've got to deal with a body. Okay, that can be the dorsal fin. I want to have a, I made a six foot long blue shark or that tuna that I just showed you, yellowfin tuna, I could use as well. And what I want to do is have one of my neighbors take a picture of me holding it up as if I just caught it. You know how those big game hunters do with the poor dead elephant or whatever they shot. And there's a head. Oops, there we go. Head, dorsal fin, jaw, body has to come out this way. So what kind of body are we gonna make? How about just a striped, thin, striped body? Some fish are skinny. That's pretty skinny though, isn't it? I may have to add some white down here, which I can do. I can do. I'm, a, I'm in charge. Good. Um. <clears throat> oh, God damn it. My, my tripod that's holding the camera is, has legs on it, hence tripod. Actually, this is a duopod. And one of them is right here, and it's on the ground, and my hand keeps hitting it because my glue gun is over there. So there's that. Okay, now what kind of tail? Ah, I could just have that as the tail. Which means I might have enough to make another fish. This could be a belly. No, it's too late now. I've already cut it. I do have to add more white underneath. I don't generally like cutting my... I don't like cutting curves. My, I can never cut them very evenly. This is just going to be a skinny fish with a big jaw. I bet there are such things in the aquatic world. Skinny fish with big jaws. Okay, come on. Glue. There, that's a fish. Is that a fish? I think that can be a fish. I don't need to deal with that other. Yeah, I'm going to give him a little triangle or bit and a little fin down there. So bear with me as I find some white. That works. You're not going to see the yellow. I'll 
crop that out just a little bit. That's all I need is just that much. No, I don't want that much. I sort of have a thing going. So maybe that's all I need. This is there we go. Done. Next. I've got these pieces now left. That's garbage. Now what do I do? Anyway, back to my my idea with the this is going to be an eyeball. Save that there. This can be a small fish and a small eyeball. So this is going to be the body of the fish right here. That's going to be its little mouth open. We're going to cut that off. Put his eye right there. Oops. <clears throat> Where was I? I was talking about having a neighbor take a picture of my me holding up a fish. So it'll it'll be like those. Oh, I don't know. When did we last see them? And there's the Minnesota dentist that brags about going out and killing animals that are endangered because he can. Fuck yeah, I can do that because fuck. You know, it's that sort of mentality that elected the last president. And in fact, he might be the last president we'll ever have because he'll turn it into a dictatorship, he and his minions. So fuck yeah, you know, I'm gonna kill an animal and pose with it, hold it up and hold my gun up and stand on the elephant's head with a shit-eating grin on my face like, look at me. And that's too bad. Not only for the poor elephant, but for the rest of us humans that actually care about what's happening in the world. Someone posted something recently on Facebook about the Black Lives Matter protest saying, how many jobs has it created for black people, these protests? Well, maybe another question to ask is, Maybe how many fewer black people will be just killed by some fat policeman because of this. Maybe that's the answer, the question, the whatever it is. So anyway, you get, I go on a diatribe. I don't mean to do that necessarily. I can finish my statement here. There's, there's the fish. I need a little tail fin there. Or that thing that happens, that little side fin that comes out of the gill. Kind of like that right there, that, because it has kind of a little turn to it. It's kind of neat. Just that little tiny oh, makes it look kind of like that fin. Where should it go? There? I need to add another piece. So anyway, I will I will be holding this my fish up.
just like they do, except I'm going to have, in one hand, I'll have the fish, and in the other hand, I'll have a pair of scissors, this pair of scissors. Won't that be clever? That'll be so clever. And the people that voted for Trump will think, that's stupid. That's what they're gonna say. That's really stupid. Yep. That's what they'll say. Hey, Brad, come over here. Look at this picture. Isn't this stupid? And Brad will come over and look. And there'll be one little tiny brain cell in Brad's head. He only has two brain cells, but there will be one that will remember joy when he was young and sensitive before he became stupider where he remembered making things like this when he was in grade school and how much he you know the little thing he made for thanksgiving with the turkey or whatever it was and how he was so proud of his little turkey thing he made brought it home to show his mom And that little brain cell will remind him of that, that one brain cell. And, and he'll say, whatever happened to, whatever happened to me? How did I become so stupid? Meanwhile, his friend, I don't know if we gave his, his friend a name, Let's go out and kill some more people. Animals. Ooh, look at that. That could be maybe his, his nose. Could he have a big pointy nose? Okay, I still maybe have enough for another fish. Come on. So we have this fish and this one. Let's see if I can, what can I do with the rest here? I've been kind of avoiding using the light blue sky background that you see on this box. Do I want to ignore that again, or do we want to include that? This is going to be its tail. I don't have a tail that's like that. But just made one that goes vertically, but this is going to be a horizontal tail. Okay, that's his tail. That can be a dorsal fin. You need a body here somehow. We're running out of pieces. Could this be the body? That's a rather tiny body. That could be the eyeball right there. Eyeball. Okay. Let's put all the pieces together here. This is a dorsal fin. Maybe this body will have to be more. That's an eyeball. Oh dear. I think I may have to. I really only have, if I don't use that blue, I really only have this much left. So let's just see what we, what we can de deal with here. Can this be part of a, can this be part of a head, do you think? No, I 
eyeball. There we go. Here's a mouth. It looks like he sort of has a goatee. And this fish has a goatee, like why not? Just cut a little notch in here to make make this a mouth. Okay, so we have an eye and a mouth. Okay, do I have any other curved thing? I can make kind of that gilly business. That's kind of curved. That would make a nice dorsal fin though, wouldn't it? This is like that little tail. That's like that fin that comes up from behind it. So let's make this tree. Okay. You have a goatee, eyeball, fish, head. This is almost all of the head. Then we've got a tail, dorsal fin. Maybe, maybe the body is just going to be one long. To do this right, not going to have a second chance. That's the tail. Body. You know, it's interesting what happens when we get old and we become stupid. See, now this, the tail doesn't look enough like a tail now. See, because the body looks like that. So let me finish the body and I may have to make the tail out of two. Two R's of Corona. We do get stupider when we get older, I think. We get less accepting of our Brethren and sistren, what's the female version of sister? That's going to be the dorsal. Okay, what do I have? Got two R's. How does this one work again? Works like that. Okay, this is going to be the dorsal fin. that A for the under fin. There we go. I mean, he's, it's sort of a weird eye, this one. This one has a weird, oh shit. I made him upside down, it's okay. That's fine, whatever, I just wasted a, one of these things. Okay, now we've got a tail. What is the tail going to look like? Is the tail going to look like that? Skinny, 
go back there like that and do this. It could be a tail. Okay, I think this is what it's going to be like. Anyway, it's yeah, stupider as we get old. Er. Devolution is what we're dealing with here. This is a funny looking fish. Okay, now how do I make this fish not look funny? I think I need to add that one down here. Blue on this one. Actually, I do have... Oh, no. Is that, this doesn't have blue either. Perfect. So write your answers below. Are we getting stupider or what? This is a very funny looking fish. You know what I might need to do? I may need to save this one and finish it with other with other corona pieces that I might have upstairs. Maybe you need, maybe that has to be a rounded nose. Let's see if this helps. Kinda does. Doesn't hurt. Head and you know this one just might need some more O's to make it a longer thing. Or maybe that'll do it. Maybe just making the tail bigger. Making you know a face or a fish or a cow or whatever it is you're making, <clears throat> you you need to sort of think of the basic. What is the, what are the basic things that you have to deal with when you like? How do you recognize that that's a fish or a cow, well it is a fin and a cow doesn't have a fin, and you sort of go through the um, I wonder if I make his mouth, big smiley mouth, is this going to work? Well is it going to work? Let me just see, because I'm sort of blocking that little fin thing I just made. No, it's not working for me. Could this go anywhere else? Can this be a little fin down here? Back here? Up there? It'll go on the back. Oh, 
That's a funny looking fish. That's all I can say. But the other ones are less funny. Okay, if this I if I caught this one on oh, this one on the hook, I'd probably throw it back, thinking that it was a weird species that you know, I'd probably just kill it right there on the spot because it doesn't deserve to make offspring. You are ugly. Who's talking about ugly? You are ugly and stupid. Okay, you got me there. You are butt ugly. Not pretty like me. Yeah, these are all pretty funny looking. This one's okay. But, you know, not all fish are pretty. You just have to put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay, now what? Oh, I was going to do an eyectomy. Okay, give me an eye, a new eye. I want that one there. Oh, this one needs to have this fin re-glued. Which was the part that was glued. Oh, well, maybe I didn't mean, no, whatever, it's glued now. This little cut makes me want to cut the top one off, but this is a fish that isn't symmetrical in the same way that the other one was. Okay, that one. I think this one, if I can take this off, up damage. I'll put a small I on this one. Small, yes. I'll put a small O, which means an I, which becomes an I on this one. I don't know if that's better, but it's different. The idea is that it's different from the other ones. Let's see, can I make another, take another one off? This come off easily, yes. An O with a accent. What do you think, little O or big O? Little one. The X accent ectomy. There, better. Oops. Now, can he should he have some teeth? A big a V teeth, a V tooth. And some molars back there, a little round-edged molars. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't think I really have any other enough gray fan box to make another. Do I? I make a fish out of these three pictures. Is that doable? This has tape on it. I've been doing, I've been taking the tape off. No, I think that's it. Okay. Any of these things worth keeping? Should I keep any of this? Throw it away up here. Don't. Okay. Now, 39 minutes. 39 minutes. I made three fish. What have you done? What have you done? In you watched me. I hope you were doing something other than just watch me. Bye.